In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a layered hex map with a spatial file. Now traditionally, a hex map will, be, will have two hexagons on it, one in the background, one in the foreground. This would be for overlapping the hexagons. But it can become quite fiddly to get them packed perfectly together. So in the example you see here on the screen, I can see that each of my hexagons in the US is packed perfectly together, and then I have another hexagon inside of it that are all spaced perfectly. The spatial file comes from Joshua Milligan, and I'll post a link to his blog in the description. So let's see how we build a map like this. So I'm already connected to, this, to the Superstore dataset. And we, we want to go ahead and edit that data source, and I'm going to add my spatial file to this data source. So under Connections, click on Add, Spatial File. I'm going to pick my hex states shape file, drag that over to the right hand side to create my connection. And in this connection, I'm going to change my performance options from one to one. And there we go. You can see we have the state, the state abbreviation, and the shape file. Let's go ahead and rename this as Superstore with hex map. Let's go to our new sheet. If I double click on the geometry field, you'll see that I get a map of the US, but I only have one mark. That's because I haven't told Tableau how to split up the view yet. So to split up the view, I'm going to drag my state abbreviation to the detail shelf, and now I have 51 marks. Let's format this view so that we can get rid of the background. Don't worry that the map is in uh, Africa right now because it's just shapes. It doesn't really matter where it's placed. So let's get rid of that. And let's create maybe a calculation for our profit ratio. And I want to say, let's call this our profit ratio 2020. And I'm going to say if the year, or actually we can do this with an integer function. So integer year of order date if that is equal to 2020, multiply that by profit, and then let's aggregate that, and then divide the whole thing by sales. Okay, let's duplicate that and create one for 2021. So all I need to do is change my calculation name and then change what I'm referring to inside of the calculation. So I'm going to put profit ratio 2020 onto the marks card, and we can see my profit ratio for 2020. But I want to have another hexagon inside of this one. I'm going to duplicate the latitude field on the rows, and you see I now have two shape files. If I layer these on top of each other with a dual axis, I can't really see both of them. I need one to be inside of the other. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the second latitude field, and I'm going to change my mark type to a shape. And I'm going to go ahead and pick my hexagon shape. And you can see I now have these nice little hexagons, and I'm going to put profit ratio for 2021 on that shelf. And let's go ahead and, yeah, so I think that's good. And now if we go ahead and make a dual axis, we can see one of them inside of the other. All I have to do now is adjust the size of my shape inside of the, the outer hexagon, inside the uh, inner, hex, inner hexagon, and now I have a perfectly shaped, uh, uh, perf two perfectly shaped hexagons. What I would probably do from here is put the state onto the label of the, inter, of the, inner, um, uh, of the, the inner hexagon. And then maybe I'll go ahead and actually put the profit ratio for 2021 on the label as well. And I need to go ahead and format both of these to be a percentage. And there we go. I now have my profit versus uh, my profit ratio for 2020 versus 21 as a hex inside of a hex map. I hope you found that useful. Leave me any questions in the comments. Have a great day.